as we begin to usher in those cooler temperatures, it's the perfect excuse to start whipping out those favorite fall recipes, or as I like to refer to it as soup season. And on that front, Angie Horkin with the Wisconsin Beef Council has us covered. Good morning, Angie. Good morning. I do. I got some two kind of soup stew recipes, perfect for this time of year mm. as the weather's colder, the days are getting shorter. Yes. And um, the first one actually uses a slow cooker. So I love using my slow cooker. I try to use it all year round, but really right now, this time of year, it's a godsend because I feel so busy trying to get ready for the holidays. It's plan ahead, get everything in in the morning, uh, and then you got supper ready when you get home. Now this recipe is actually called a beef enchilada soup. It's kind of like a Mexican flavored chili. Okay. Um, but it only takes like half of a day. So four hours on low or two hours on high. So you can even kind of make it after work or it's perfect for a weekend too. Yeah. It makes a slow cooker full. It has a lot of ingredients, but really easy ingredients. It starts with two pounds of lean ground beef and you brown that up, put that in the slow cooker. And then you're gonna add the rest of the it ingredients, so a lot of kind of canned ingredients. So like uh, canned crushed tomatoes, kidney beans, black beans, enchilada sauce, a couple packets of taco seasoning, Yum. a little can of mild green chilies, and then some beef broth. So it literally, this is what a six, seven quart slow cooker. It is almost full after you get that two pounds of ground beef in there and then all of those great tomatoes and beans and corn and taco seasoning. It and is, it sounds very simple, just ingredients that you might already have in your yeah, cabinet. Exactly, really after browning the ground beef, you just need a can opener. Perfect. And put the rest of the ingredients in. Perfect too for um, maybe a weekend, a game, mm -hmm. since we're still mm -hmm. in football season, it's soup season and football season. And then top with, you know, some shredded, great Wisconsin shredded cheese or some dairy sour cream. More the merrier. Some tortilla strips, super easy. Ah. Second recipe is a stew, so cowboy beef stew. This one does not have many ingredients, but it does make a nice pot. So we actually use like the 15 bean soup mix that is traditionally made with a bean and ham soup. So if you have like oh, a okay. ham bone, I'd buy this. But now I bought this for this recipe and you need to soak these overnight. So you rinse them, put them in water, soak them all night before you make your stew. And then um, I browned up a couple pounds of just beef stew meat that I purchased in the supermarket put the beans in after they had soaked, and then two cans of diced tomatoes with some peppers and onions, and a little bit of beef broth. I think a can, two cans, one can of beef broth. And then at the end, well, you kind of simmer that a couple hours because you want that stew meat to get tenderized. Okay. And then at the end, you can add in some frozen uh, hash brown potatoes, just for like oh, 20 Angie. minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's kind of a really thick, really hearty yes. stick to your ribs beef stew takes a couple hours because you need to tenderize that stew meat but you could always make this ahead so if you're one of those people that likes to cook maybe on sunday for the week make this on sunday afternoon and it's better a couple days later now is this a play on cowboy caviar where does the cowboy that actually i think with all the, all the beans in there okay. and stuff Just <laughs> yeah i think so um but so I got a lot of other great recipes picked out too for fall. So check out beeftips.com, click right on As Seen on TV. You'll find these recipes plus some other great fall favorites. Awesome, Angie, thank you so, so much. This smells delicious. We will be right back.